My name's Samuel Leeds, and I wanted to show you, I mean, listen, I'm going to show you how I find land when I'm buying land, or at least how not to look for land. <laughs> because people often approach me with pieces of land, and land can look really attractive. You know, when, when agents come to you and they show you their drawings. Um, so I wanted to just give you an example of what that can look like, and how you got to be really careful as well. So, all right, let's 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 do this. So here we go. Piece of land for sale. Guide price, £250,000. I remember when I saw this when it first came on and people were sending it to me saying, oh, look, this could be a great little piece of land. Could be a good project. It's really close to my house. Um, and, and, and look, look. Oh, unsold in auction. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, how do you know if it's a good thing or a bad thing? It's coming back on now. It's about to go to auction and it's less than half the price. So, hundred grand, about to go to auction next week for a piece of land where you can build that on it. I mean, geez, what's gonna what's gonna be the return on investment? Let me have a look at the pictures. So, looks fabulous. So this is just um, a three D a three D image of what it would look like when it's built. That's the piece of land. Um, so you'll read through and you'll be interested. It says it's on 0.96 of an acre. That's almost an acre. Okay, um, development scheme preparing, full vacant possession. Now, listen, this hasn't got planning, so you need to get planning. But looking at this, you think, okay, well, that's good because the money's in the planning. The money's in the planning. So I'll buy the piece of land and then I'll get planning, push the value boop, right up, build this thing, and then the end value is going to be really high. That's how you make money, right? Well, Let's have a look exactly where this where this is. So this is right next to the station, next to Sear Green and Jordan's station, which is a really affluent area. So the land is somewhere around here. So um, if we just type in Sear Green station, let's see if we can find this bad boy. Okay, it looks like this is the land. Site area, 0.96 acres. So that's the land. Now, the way that it's packaged up looks great because you can see the 3D images. Isn't it wonderful? But actually, when you look into this site, and this is what this is what, what, what people, and this is why I think training is so important because someone could literally go ahead and just buy that piece of land in faith that they'd get planning. Um... Let's see if you get planning. Well, for a start, where's the access going to be? If you have an apartment block here, okay, how, how are you going to get to the apartment block? Well, the access is, I mean, you, you, <laughs> you're not going to be able to put a road through here unless you get the permission from, like, it's just not really going to happen. It may, maybe through here it's going to have to be. But what is this? Well, this is a parking. This is the, this, the parking, the car park for the station. So, actually, unless you're going to access this on a helicopter, there's no access. So, you're going to buy this little piece of land, but then you're going to ask the council for planning permission, and they're going to simply say, a big, fat, steamy, no. Why? Because there's no access. I mean, you, you're not really going to get permission from, for, to, to be able to use this as an access. Like, how is this going to happen? Another thing is, if you click, if we click on it again and we read the read, read what's what, environmental. It's one hundred percent green belt. So this is green belt land with no access. So you, you're not going to get planning on it. So what's going to happen? Well, you're going to buy it. You're going to spend a hundred grand on it uh, to be able to do absolutely nothing with it. Potentially could be a waste of a hundred grand just because you got sucked in by the nice idea of building on it. I mean, the best way, if you want to know about planning, the best way to know if you're going to get planning or not as well is to see, is it going to be fitting to the area? I mean, imagine you just build a sudden apartment block here. There's nothing like it elsewhere. It would be very random and unfitting. The council are going to say no on so many accounts. I mean, geez, I wonder if these trees are even protected trees. They might be. It's just not happening. But the estate agents don't care about that. 
the estate agents, and listen, I'm not knocking the estate agent at all, but the, the, the seller, the person that's selling the land, I imagine, I imagine, can't get planning, knows they won't be able to get planning, so is just packaging it up, selling it to some dum-dum, tried to sell it for 250 but it failed, now selling it again for 100 grand, and it'll probably, it will either fail to sell or some dum-dum will buy it. I, I mean, unless you're buying it just to land bank it. Um, but you can see, look, if we get the little man, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty on here. This looks so wonderful and beautiful. But when you zoom in and you see what it actually looks like on Google Earth, this is what you're buying. This is it. No access. A bunch of trees where you're not going to get planning to build up anything at all. Absolutely pointless unless you're just trying to build your bank of land. So, what's the lesson in this? The lesson is don't get suckered in by 3D pictures. That doesn't mean there's planning permission to go ahead and do it. Get properly educated. Get good architects, planning consultants, get a good power team. Um, and don't waste £100,000. If you enjoy my channel, do me a massive favor, smash like, subscribe. I'll do plenty more videos like this real soon. Peace.